almost. I mean, I like any type of party. Basically. I know you do. Yeah. But why, why like stand up so much? So, I mean, well, first of all, we were a bit inspired because doing the vow renewal, um, you're going to see it's, it's a larger group, so it's going to be a stand up. And we thought, you know what, how can we show people that doing a stand up party is great whether the group is a little bit too large to accommodate at your dining room table. But in general, I like doing them because people get to mingle in a different way. You're sort of not stuck at one spot all night, yes. a little bit more of a static environment. Yeah, I got but you. But you're moving around, you're getting a chance to mingle and sit down and stand up. And just, yeah. it, to me, it creates a little bit more of a fun atmosphere. Right. I think I think so too. Yeah. Ready to pour, get ready to have ready things to pour. ready so to go. Whenever you're doing anything that is stand up or larger groups or something that you know is is grazing, you want to make sure that you're not stuck doing every single thing for all your guests. Mm -hmm. So there's little tricks you can do. So one thing, for example, is we like to batch our cocktails. In this case, it's fall, so we thought, why not do a really great white wine fall sangria? We started with uh, apple cider, mm -hmm. and we basically added to it uh, to make. Uh, excuse me. Um, we had sliced apples, sliced pears, cinnamon, a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc, and then a little, little bit of triple sack as well. So again, it's a batch cocktail, and what I do is I have this ready to go, I take it out just as guests arrive, and then I usually have two or three extra pitchers in the fridge, so I just uh, replenish. Ready to go, ready exactly. to go, yeah, yeah. And it stays within the fall kind of taste. It's nice, like, yeah. it's white wine. You know, if you want to offer things, I might have some red and white out as well if people want to help themselves. Sure. But again, it's about getting people to help themselves mm -hmm. so you don't have to do every single step, and you can mm -hmm. sort of enjoy your own party. So let's talk about food that's easy to make, and, and look at this, what, this is the Farmer's Medley Box. The Farmer's this Medley Box, so don't you love good. that name? So um, what we thought here was instead of using your traditional platter, your white platter, we'd find something kind of interesting and very rustic and very fall, and it worked with sort of everything that we were looking mm -hmm. at this time of year. So we found this great old Coca-Cola box, and basically we filled it with all vegetables. And what's great about this time of year is it's all the colors. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, the greens and the oranges and the, well, the burnt oranges, the reds, the yellows. And we tried to replicate that same look. So it really feels like it's farm fresh, like it's right out of the ground, basically, mm -hmm. and ready to eat. Mm -hmm. And then we added two dips. We did an onion dip, and we also did a roasted red pepper dip. So basically, guests can come up, they can make a little plate with everything that they want, add their own dips, and Take just replenish yeah. as often as they want. Right, right. And they keep them small so that you can just keep replenishing the... the well, the everything's bite-sized, so yeah, it's right. easy. Yeah. You can just pick it up at center, yeah. no double dipping. But the cut No double dipping. No double dipping. Okay. That's but the, the colors are so great, like the heirloom uh, carrots, too. So many oh, beautiful yeah. colors. Well, and we've got that. Too. Look, if yeah. you've got I know. Family, you got red and you got orange. Beautiful. They also come in yellow, but you're absolutely right. The carrots, everything is so colorful this time of year that you really should take advantage. All right, let's talk about uh, the salads. They look so delicious. Thank you. So what we do here is, again, it's the idea that people are going to help themselves. So you do bulk, you do bigger portions, and then people can help themselves to make their own little dishes. So what you do in this case is we put out the bowls. We found these really great charcoal bowls, and that way the colors of the salad really pop. Pop, yeah. And basically you can just make yourself mm -hmm. your own little salad. What's so, that salad there? Okay, so this is a mixed green salad, so it's got three or four different types of lettuces in it. And then what we added to it is we added some toasted walnuts with a little bit of maple syrup and we added roasted beets and then finally some pomegranate and a little bit of blue cheese and we do so a little good. bit of a raspberry vinaigrette and if you notice instead of dressing it ahead of time yes. then it can get soggy I'm just doing a little dressing here keeping it simple yeah. and then people can add just as much dressing as they want oh see that's perfect there you go bite size yeah. so that's one it's yeah. perfectly portioned so you can help yourself you can come back for seconds mm -hmm. thirds this one looks good too we also want to do something with a little bit more protein in mm -hmm. it so we did a grain salad so mm -hmm. this is basically an ancient grain salad it also has snap peas in it and it's got baby kale this one we actually did with a honey vinaigrette it's a little bit thicker so we mix that in ahead of time so basically people just come up, mm -hmm. make themselves a nice little bowl. It looks center. extremely healthy. It's very healthy. It'll balance all the alcohol. Exactly. <laughs> you can wash it down with, with three pictures of uh, so white that's wine. Good. And that's good. And they're all manageable sizes. You know, if you need to come back, you can. Let's talk about these skewers over here. Tell me about those. So we've now sort of gone through like the appetizer with the little canapes, yes. the, the, the starter, etc. Right. Now we're getting to the main course. So with the main course, you always have a protein and an accompaniment of some sort. Sure. So what we did here is we sort of mimicked what that would be like on a plate, but we skewered things. Okay. So we did two different types of skewers, uh, found these fantastic boards that I I drilled little holes in that fit the skewers perfectly. Perfect. Um, and basically what we did was we did a salmon skewer that yeah. also has grilled onion on it. It's got uh, green and yellow zucchini. And then we did a Beyond Beef cheeseburger that is vegan. So there's no cheese on it, there's no meat, it's completely vegetarian and completely vegan. So what's on that? We got a pickle in there? We got some pickle, we got a little bit of lettuce, lettuce. we've got uh, the tomato, the cherry tomato. Yeah. Um, and then what we did is, so then we added the burgers. So the nice thing about that is you can grill the little burgers in the oven, just put right. them in the oven if you want, et cetera. Mm -hmm. 
put a whole tray and then pull them out one at a time and then do the final skewer. Yeah. Super easy. But with the salmon skewers, same thing. Just put them all out on one sheet. Mm -hmm. Literally put them in the oven. They come out and serve, serve, serve. Super quick. Perfect. Dessert. Look how pretty this dessert is. Okay, so dessert, I mean, you, I like something sweet, mm -hmm. of course. So we thought we did two things. First, our little mason jars, which we thought were really pretty. I love using mason jars. We did strawberry shortcakes. And the nice thing is we can close them up, keep them in the fridge, and again, take them out right when it's time to serve I to our gotcha. guests. All right. Do all the work ahead of time. Yeah. And you will see in a little bit, um, sort of giving away a bit of a, uh, a reveal, but I love macarons, and we did build them into the vow renewal. So I thought, why not... Uh, put them into martini glasses, put them around the house, and people can help themselves. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. All the, and let's, one, I want to talk about the florals because Lastly, you florals. and Owen were in touch with each other with a lot of things, but you're talking about the florals. Yeah, I mean, flor I mean Owen's the, the, the flower guy. Like, yeah. I, I don't know what any of the names of these are, and he's like, I don't yeah. know, everything, everything sounds <laughs> Greek. I think it is Greek. But, yeah, okay. uh, he's like just naming, naming, naming. So I sort of got a sense. I wanted to make sure we took things that would really accentuate what, how he was building yeah. and designing the garden. So we made sure we went with a lot of fall colors, et cetera, which is tricky to find flowers this time of year that mm -hmm. are plantable. Mm -hmm. So we sort of worked together really closely to make sure that we accented some of the colors mm -hmm. so that they didn't really look, that we didn't want them to look too different. We want them to complement each other. Right, so you get the maroons and the orange, exactly. with the pumpkins in there and some green. And, and it fills the grasses. space. Like if you look without, yeah. right? Yeah. So we take this away for a second, you look without, yeah. right? It's sort of missing something. Then all of a sudden we add this back in. It just adds so much texture to it. Gorgeous. That we love it. Thank you, Sebastian. You're welcome. Great ideas.